They're lined up and uh, they're away. Uh, Runaholic a little bit slow to strive, so too was Scorch out well Trojan legend who leads early from Hunk Papa through the first furlong. Loyal touch towards the inside of the favourite classic in the red and green jacket, a little bit fresh early on. Bacento is out wide, followed by the Foxes in a nose band. Back on the inside to Runaholic and then play up Sky Blues and Scorch towards the rear of the field, swinging the right-hander. And up ahead, it is Trojan Legend by a length to Hunk Papa in second place. Then on the inside, Law Touch, followed by Classic, a very close fourth, followed by the Foxes on the outside of Runaholic, play up Sky Blues, Bacento, and Scorch still sees them all as they run now into the home straight. Three and a half furlongs left to cover in this British European Breeders Fund EBF Maiden Stakes. And Trojan Legend has led all the way, shadowed all the way by Hunk Papa, Loyal Touch in behind those. Classic travels very smoothly red jacket green armlets towards the outside of the front pair they're chased by the foxes and runaholic then bercento scorch and finally play away sky blues and up towards the final furlong now trojan legend now he says go on classic looking for a bit of acceleration hunk papa loyal touch coming through and the foxes is finishing well down the outside as well can classic get the job done the foxes is fighting on well and the foxes claims classic in the run to the line and it's up for the foxes in second, Classic, followed in third, possibly by Loyal Touch on the far side of Bacento. The Coral Steward Sprint, Consolation, they're away. And Stone of Destiny a little bit slow to go. Also the Lamp Light, a fast out dark shot in the pale jacket from Digital in a noseband. And then the light blue pink cap is many a star down the center. A bait is showing speed. Not a bad rush through the early stages. Treacherous is tracking them, followed by Mitros on fire in green white stars. Nelson Gay in the red yellow spot stream composer. The favorite Lethal Levi a little bit off the pace at the moment with on the far side on the left Mocker Till. Still at the back is the Lamp Lighter and just ahead of the lamplighter is Stone of Destiny as they race on now down towards the final two and a half furlongs and on the left Mocker till Lethal Levi being shaken up down the center in that noseband a bait with Dark Shot on the right digital then Dream Composer Nelson Gay behind runner Stone of Destiny is desperate for racing room so is Treacherous many a star on the near side Lethal Levi looks beat today as they run down towards the final furlong and a real scramble for the lead Dark Shot just out in front from a bait digital the lamplighter treacherous comes through many a star on the near side perhaps doing best now many a star dark shot and the lamp lighter is very tight many a star near side out in the center the lamp lighter dark shot possibly third followed home by stone of destiny digital and mitros on Now running uphill, and shortly they'll be passing the six furlong marker, three quarters of a mile from the finish in this Coral Summer Handicap. Golden Flame round the inside of the Max We Can. Gold Maze close up in third to the inner Trawlerman. They're followed by Boss Power and Soapy Stevens as they run into this right-hander. Red Flyers on the inside then from Bag Door. A little wider out then is uh, Sem Harm, followed by Valley Forge and Bascule. And at the back, HMS President and still last is Yukon Glen. Racing downhill now towards a little right-hand turn. They'll have about four furlongs left to cover at this kink. And out front is Golden Flame from the Max We Can, tracked by Boss Power towards the inside. Golden Maze right there as well with Trawlerman. And they're followed by Red Flyer, who's staying on wider out. Soapy Stevens, Kem Hahn towards the outside in the light blue cap from Valley Forge Bag Door, an open looking race. Running down to the final two, Golden Flame, Gold Maze, far side, Trawlerman, the Max We Can, all grouping together. Yukon Glen trying to get through from the back, nowhere to go. And on the far side, Gold Maze, out in the centre, Trawlerman, Soapy Stevens, back door is racing on strongly. Then Sem Harm behind these, and Boss Power on the far side. Trawlerman holding them all at bay at the moment. Trawlerman from back door, Soapy Stevens near side. It's Godolphin, it's Trawlerman. Trawlerman wins. Back door, far side of the run. Running on Yukon Glen, who look luckless. Soapy Stevens on the near side, followed home by Gold Maze and the running on.
so now heading uphill towards the final six furlongs and a bold ride from the front here aboard urban artist can she possibly keep up the gallop here in the hands of jason hart now reaching the highest point on the race course urban artist by a good dozen lengths maybe 15 lengths to yes yes in second c la rosa back in third emily dickinson ryan moore just nudging away in fourth place now from glenartney viola and at the back for berent an urban artist is still well clear racing down the hill towards the final half mile urban artist yes yes a good 12 lengths down in second c la rosa tom marquand not getting panicky just yet as they run on towards the final three furlongs emily dickinson with a lot to do for berent then glenartley and viola urban artist just drifting off the inside running rail maybe just the slide the stride is shortening a little bit yes yes and c la rosa are getting closer jason hart begins to push away on the flagging leader it's urban artist down to about six lengths now over c la rosa yes yes emily dickinson and then forbearance still urban artist running on instinct now inside the final furlong and a half it's urban artist by only three lengths c la rosa pushed along then yes yes on the far side emily dickinson is staying on well c la rosa gets to urban artist emily dickinson and yes yes on the far side c la rosa urban artist a very brave run but it's c la rosa c la rosa seals the lily leg tree what a run from urban artist yes yes far side emily dickinson down the near side Inver Park was getting up in stall 15, in stall 22, Abel Kane, and away they go, and Comanche Falls has jumped away with them pretty well. It looked as though Typhoon 10 was very slow to go, fast away towards the far side, Good Eye. Good Eye is out in front of that group, uh, followed closely by uh, then Method is up there as well on the far side. Mackinac from Pop Master First Folio. Chill Chill shows speed. Red Cap Lampang on the far side. Down this near side is Good Eye. Zargun when the dealing's done. Then uh, just another bottle. And Mr. Wagyu further out is Tinto. Comanche falls in the firing line as well. And they're followed by Method now from Tab D. Back in the field, Abel Kane at the back of the pack. Regional's got lots to do as they run on down inside the final two furlongs. Mackinac on the far side in the noseband, probably the overall leader from Tinto. Comanche falls near side. Good eye. And they're followed then by First Folio, St. Lawrence and Gulliver as they race inside the final furlong on this near side. Last year's winner, Comanche falls. Just leads the way. Tab Deed making a race of it. And then in third is Tinto, followed by Regional. Comanche falls and Tab Deed. Oh, on the dot! Comanche falls might have won it again. Tab Deed, regional third great ambassador running on from nowhere. Then Good Eye down the near side, Inver Park making late ground as well. It's a photo between Comanche Falls and Tab Deed. Medallia handicap over seven furlongs and they're away. Pretty level one, Roman Dragon quickly into stride with I'm a gambler. And then on the outside is Positive Impact with the White Blaze Yellow Jacket. Wooderton tracks them in green and yellow, just behind Spirit of Nguru, Galiak. And then up the inside, Lasso Du, Koi Koi Yellow Jacket is probably second last with the White Blaze Gisburn on the inside into a right-hander. And Roman Dragon setting the pace here from I'm a Gambler and Positive Impact. Positive Impact just second ahead of I'm a Gambler. Then the favourite Spirit of Nguru and Tom Marquand in fourth. Wooderton on the the outside of Galiak and Lasso Dude and towards the rear Koi Koi and Gisburn. About to turn into the home straight then. Three and a half furlongs from the finish and still Roman Dragon on the far side under young Harry Davis setting the, the fractions here from in second place. Positive impact. I'm a gambler. Pushed along. Woken up now. Spirit of Nguru. Lasso Dude is exploring a run up the rail. They're followed by Galiak and then Wooderton followed by Gisburn beginning to make ground. Koi Koi is struggling on the outside as Positive Impact got past the longtime leader, Roman Dragon. I'm a gambler into second place. Gisburn making relentless progress on the back of the field. It's Positive Impact now reeled in by I'm a gambler. I'm a gambler going on. Gisburn into second from in third, then Galliat, but it's all I'm a gambler. I'm a gambler too strong. From uh, in second, Gisburn, who made relentless late progress, followed by Galliac on the far side, Positive Impact, and then Spirit of Nguru. And they're away.
seven furlongs, sorry, a mile and a furlong for this Federation of Bloodstock Agents Handicap. And out well on the inside is Bolthole with uh, going forward also the City's Phantom and uh, Forest Falcon as they race through the first furlong uphill most of the way. And Bolthole with uh, close up Forest Falcon and then O'Herbert's Rain. Rainbow Colors is on the outside, Sweet Reward back on the inside, followed then by General Lee. And they're tracked by Fantasy Believer in the midfielder. Jero deep in the midfield and the yellow with the blue sleeves as they continue to race uphill in the second half of the field. Gren with the Luck Mankina and Dutch Decoy and Taskier at the back of the field. The City's Phantom from Forest Falcon. Stable Companion, Rainbow Colors close up. Sweet Reward in the blue and yellow jacket on the inside, followed by O'Herbert's Rain, Mark of Respect and General Lead. And then fantasy believer a Jero further back in the field followed then on the inside by bolt hole now then kitsune power out wide junker new further back uh, is uh, gren with la makina as they turn for home taskia still towards the rear of the field and pulled out wide in the black cap is dutch decoy it's still the city's phantom on the inside of tuesday's winner forest falcon tracked then by stable companion rainbow color sweet reward general lee now in the pink and the green jacket it just wavering slightly, maybe pushed out by Rainbow Colors there. They're followed by Sweet Reward. Running on from the back is Bolt Hole coming with a promising run. And a Jero now being produced down the outside. And a Jero in the noseband. And out very wide, Dutch decoy. And then Gren. A Jero coming through to take it up on the far side from the from Bolt Hole. And then out wide, Dutch decoy. And Kitsune Power. A Jero leads the way close home. And a Jero breaks a run of seconds. A deserved win. Kitsune Power second on the near side of Bolt Hole and then back in fourth. Dutch